Shit's about to get real. Welcome to episode 11, where I show you what two days of my vacation looks like before I get admitted to the hospital and my life gets changed forever. Wait, 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 wait. Run that back. Where my life gets changed for the good. Run it! point you know who I am and what I'm doing and if you don't go back to my channel and watch this series from the start and don't forget to hit subscribe while you're there all right so I've talked about the boring stuff before breakfast lunch dinner brush my teeth hygiene I'm not gonna talk about that I'm just gonna talk about the two cool things that I did that I found a lot of fun in my last two days kind of a freedom Keep in mind, I couldn't go crazy. I didn't want to spend a lot of money. I didn't want to just blow my bank account. And That's the doctor said. also yeah. told me to really limit my exposure because if I got sick, it really would push back this. So I made sure to try and be a little extra careful when going to certain things and doing certain things. So with that said, I tried to do smaller batch things where I knew a lot of people would not be there. It not It may not have been necessarily my top choice for what to do, but nevertheless, I had an amazing time. So the first thing that I did that I wanna talk about that really I just thought was super fun, and don't call me a nerd, but it was a brewery tour. So I really don't drink at all. It might be one cocktail, maybe once a month if it's at an event or a really special occasion. Otherwise, I just think it kinda tastes like crap. But I find it so fascinating to see how everything is made. I really love the idea and education behind small businesses. But it was so fun to see everything from start to finish with how they process hops, how they cook hops, and how that turns into the different kinds of beers and then the different kinds of spirits. And then everything from the labeling, the storing, and the canning process, all the way to the selling and the showrooms. Look at little old Lexi right there. Look at all these empty cans, 500,000. We got the packing over here. We got the, I forget what that was, all the silos and stuff. Got Lexi sticking her tongue at me, jerk. I thought it was so fascinating, such a great time. And it was cool, you got to sample things throughout the tour as well. Most of the stuff in the beginning tasted like dog shit because you're pretty much just chewing on raw hops. It's the biggest piece of dog shit. I thought shit. it was absolutely disgusting, but it was still just a great experience overall, start to finish. 10 out of 10 would do again, maybe not the exact same tour, I would love to see all the other small businesses and how they operate compared to one another and how what separates them from everybody else because that's really what makes them special or unique and that's the part that I find so enjoyable. All right, and number two, I went to this thing out here in Phoenix, Arizona. It might be in Scottsdale, but it's called Fish and Sips. So once a month when the aquarium closes, they reopen it back up to people who are 21 and older and they turn it into a bar. They have regular drinks and sodas as well, even mocktails for my pregnant friend that went with us. It is such a cool experience to see the aquarium when nobody is there or not to be a jerk, but there are no kids at all. There's no screaming babies and there's no lines to see anything or pet the stingrays. It is fant. If you live in the Phoenix area, check it out. It's called Fish and Sips. It is a great experience. The tickets are like, are half the price of regular tickets for the aquarium. So you're even saving money to see the aquarium. Humpback Chub. They're so ugly. Again, you guys don't have to leave at that time. We'll just take our hands out of the water. And if you guys do want to touch before that 10 minute touch break, we have two hand sanitizing stations. One is over by Dylan, one is hands first. So there's two sanitizing stations on either side of me. They're white, they have big ones, they're fashionable. I'm going to count from 10 to 0, and when I get to 0, we're going to take all hands out of the Look at how ugly. Ew. Oh my god. 
And I thought the other guys were ugly. Get it, babe. Work it. Oh yeah, look at you in the sea tunnel. Wow. There's not a lot of, oh, it's the tropical section. Tell me the story again. Tell me, okay. okay, hold on, I gotta get, we gotta get an idea of what they look like. Oh, the big boy. Okay, think about looking down at that from a dock. It just looks like coral. Coral. Okay. My flip flop fell off the dock. Lexi, just seeing coral, dives in to get it. Well, steps are one of these things. My family didn't know there's upside down jellyfish and thought I was crazy. I looked it up for them, still didn't believe me. To this day, upside down jellies. We were in Lexi the has stung herself on these bad boys. Let's see, focus. Does this look like coral? From upside down, yes it does. <laughs> look at how big these ones are. I just want to get the coolest fish. It's like a giant beta. Shark, so I'm gonna ride past her. Those two tend to, uh, some of their mouth opens. This is our nurse shark, who was the second, or probably the biggest. She was the biggest. I feel like the sand tigers are gonna run her money. Look at, there's a white one, normal. It's like, um, the dragon movie. Yeah, look at it. It's got the white one. There's like a leopard shark swimming around over there. The white one though is so, it's like a ghost. Look at how much it stands out on video. Hello, friend. I'm, I bet everybody wants to date the white one. It is an awesome experience. There's even a showroom where they bring out live music and just hands down, it is super well crafted. Whoever thought of that did an amazing job. It's definitely worth going to. Honestly, again, back to the geek education in me, I thought it was so fascinating to see all the different animals and sea creatures, giant sharks and seals and groupers. It was just such an awesome experience to see them firsthand. I do wanna say though, I'm not a big fan of aquariums and zoos in general. I just feel like it's a little brutal on the animals. I just, I just feel like I would rather see it in real life rather than caging him up. I don't know, it's just a little, it's conflicting. So aquariums and zoos are on that same line where as much as I love to go to them to learn and educate and see these animals, honestly, I would be just as okay with knowing that they weren't there or didn't exist. And if you really wanted to see a giraffe, go to the safari. If you really wanted to go see an orca, go whale watching, you know? Just, I don't know, it just feels a little a little wrong, but here I am with me giving my debit card and supporting them in events like this. But either way, absolutely great event. A little bit of a hypocrite here, but fantastic, I loved it. So overall, I really just tried to spend a bunch of good quality time with my friends and family and do things that I know I couldn't do when I'm in the hospital. So go out to eat, you know, hang out. Like I really won't be able to hang out with a lot of family and friends, so that's what I prioritized. I got to do a few things that I know I won't be able to do, like check out the beer tours and see some animals. So overall, I mean, it really just was a good time. It did a fantastic job of keeping this overthinking brain distracted from 
basically what's going to happen tomorrow. I really hope you enjoyed this episode and make sure you tune in to the next one by ringing that bell as it is going to be a big one. Shit's about to get real. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.